Boom, there you go. Quick and easy guac. All right, now that we have our chicken chips and air fryer cooling down, let's make some guac. First things first, whenever you go to the store and you're looking for avocados, don't you hate it whenever they're too ripe, they're too old? It's never perfect, so this is your way. Take the bottom, not the end of the butthole, but the bottom. You want it to be a little bit squishy, but not over squishy, not too firm. Just right, like she squats. Typically, you'll have your little nipple right here. Pop that guy off if it's still on, and if you notice, it's green on the inside. That is a perfect avocado every time. You did not know that. So starting off, we got our cutting board here. For this one, we are gonna have three avocados. We're gonna save that to the last little bit. We're gonna be using our pop smoke taco and fajita seasoning. And for this, it's pretty simple. We're gonna do uh, one tomato, uh, diced, two jalapenos, because they like it a little bit spicier, half of a red onion, juice of two limes, maybe add a little lime zest, and some garlic. We're gonna have cilantro, top it off with some pop smoke taco and fajita seasoning. So first thing, let's go ahead and roll out our limes. All them juices out of there. We're gonna start dicing up the jalapenos and pop our tops. And for this, I am gonna be leaving the seeds in one of them and removing the seeds in the other. One thing you always wanna make sure to do whenever you're dealing with jalapenos, don't touch your downstairs until you wash your hands thoroughly. We're gonna do the absolute opposite of Ricky Bobby. Alright, we're gonna wake up this excellent. That's the one. We got a rough chop on these and then come back across just a few times to break it nice and thin. You can actually see this exact recipe inside of our 40 Good Ass Recipes cookbook if you have not got your copy yet. Just go to grillyourassoff.com. Get our jalapenos knocked out. Next thing's next, we'll go for our tomato. Slice it right in half. I'm not gonna completely chop all the way through and making my lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a little bit on at the root end. That'll allow us to do is once I get to right here, of all these perfectly cut lines, just slice through and have a perfectly diced tomato. One of the things too, if you don't want this too terribly runny, you can remove the core of the tomato. Again, same thing over here, not to go all the way through. We'll rotate for another nice little chop. Red onion. Same thing, we'll leave the root side on. We will chop the head off. Like I said, we're gonna be using half of it, so again, leaving the root on, we'll then chop it in half, set the side we're not gonna use over here. And we can go ahead and give this peel on that outer skin, so it looks like that right there. Nice, clean, don't have to worry about that dry, flaky skin because you didn't use cocoa butter at night. We will then make some small slices across so we can get a fine dice. This onion, and then I'm gonna come across on this way, on here, just so we can get a little bit finer. Now that we have that, take your pinky and your thumb, squeeze your onion. And this way right here, everything is very uniform and chopped just right. This is one of the biggest pains, for, I know for a lot of people, is cilantro. And what a lot of people do not do, bunch it up like this right here whenever you go to cut. So then once you have it bunched like that, you can just run your knife across slowly and you get that awesome chop. And what we're looking for right here is about two tablespoons worth. You can go a little bit heavier if you want. The same thing with any of these ingredients like I did on the jalapenos. And then now that we have that first chop, I'll come across here. All right, so we got all of that rough chopped. We will then be taking our avocado. And what we're gonna do is come in from the top. We're gonna come around, just like you normally would. So we're gonna stop right there. Even though this one started to fall apart on me. We're gonna then come across at a 90 degree at that point. Follow it around. What this does is it's gonna quarter it for us already. So it'll be that much more easier to peel, pop the seed out, everything you need to do. So we now have quarters of your avocado. We'll just pop off and peel like that right there. So then you can slice it and you can do whatever you want. To me, it's way easier to do it in quarters than it is in halves. And then anything past that, it's just too much math. Additionally, you would do this in a mortar for the mixing. I actually do not have one that's big enough for that. So I'm going to be white and put it inside of a stainless steel bowl. I'm going to mix it in there. So, boom. Got your quarters again, peel this guy off, tear down, pop that guy up again, all the way around, 90 degrees, come back around, 90 degrees, pop right off. This one just wants to idea. We're running out of room on this cutting board. James, say hi to the camera. Hi. I'm famous. All right, guys, quick rinse of the hands. We are back. We're going to be plopping all this inside of here. 
take our limes from earlier that we rolled out. Take that right there. And we're gonna grab it before. Stab it, squeeze it. For this recipe, we're gonna be doing, like we did, a half of a red onion, one whole Roman tomato. We're gonna be doing three large avocados. Inside of there, two tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro, two jalapenos, one tablespoon of minced garlic, or whole head of garlic. And then we're gonna have some pop smoke taco and fajita seasoning. We're gonna do about a tablespoon, and then a quarter cup of lime juice, or we made two whole limes, because you can't have enough limes. We're gonna be utilizing our pop smoke. I already have an open bottle here, that's why you saw the little bottle change. Toss that guy right there. What I actually like to do is use a fork for a rough chop. So you can see all of our ingredients right there. I'm just coming through, pressing down on the avocado just to break it up enough and then we'll start to toss it inside of there to make a really cool up. And if you want to make your guacamole paste, I guess you could say, uh, don't use a fork. You can use a potato masher, however you need to. You can honestly use a potato masher for doing this instead of a fork. And you can just go way more fine. I just like mine a little chunky, not too much chunky, because we gotta watch what we're doing. If you get too chunky, we gotta start worrying about other things like bad bitches. Oh yeah. So as you can see guys, it's coming together perfect. Better than Chipotle, Chipotle, anything like that. So next thing, before we forget, since I almost forgot, I'm gonna throw in our minced garlic. Don't judge me, I'm using it out of a jar. Yes, I know. I actually have some that I'm frying right now, so there we go. Add in our garlic, boom. God, it tastes amazing. We just wanna thoroughly incorporate this guac. Oh, there you go, quick and easy guac. 